All right, so um, recently my Ion tailgater uh, battery died and it just stopped charging. You know, um, I didn't even drain it, drain it all the way. Uh, it just stopped charging when I had the battery low. So um, right now I looked at some videos on, uh, I mean some some stuff on uh, Google, and people said the Ion Block Rocker is easy to replace the battery, but for the tailgater. It's a little bit more trickier, so I'm here to kind of help some somebody out, you know, because I like helping people out, you know. The people help me out when I'm trying to figure out stuff, so you know, it's always good to share their wealth. So, um, I believe you can get these batteries, and here's the battery right here. So the first thing you want to do, or the first thing I did, was unscrew the screws from here. Okay, so uh, and then I unscrew all the screws from around the outside of the panel. So that's all. Let me see, four, eight screws right there from the outside of this panel. And then I lift this up like that. And then you gotta take like a flathead screwdriver and pry this wood from on top of this little block right here that holds the battery, that house, that's housing the battery. The battery is right inside there. I know you guys probably can't nowhere near see that, but it's right inside there. It's not easy. It's not hard to uh, pop off. You know, just pop it up and then peel it off. It's held on by like some, uh, not even wood glue. Even if it is by wood glue, um, this is like the kind of wood where it's easy to, you know, take off because it's like that little paper type wood. And then you like you detach both of these wires or whatever, positive and negative, and it's marked. I don't know why it's blue, but you know, whatever. And you just slide them right off. Right off the little nubs right there. So I'm going to see if I can, right here on camera, see if I can push this out. So I'm pushing it from this side right here, you know. And I was going back and forth, should I contact tech support and have them, you know, um, replace it for me? Or should I try and do it myself? So here's how the battery looked. And right here you see some information. This is some stuff that's kind of like holding it in, in place. Some of those sticky rubber stuff. But, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. But here's like, you know, the voltage and, and amps and stuff like that. It's a little small battery. So, like I said, first I called tech support. I was literally on hold for an hour. And I hung up after that. Today I went on Google. Somebody said they tried to get through the tech support five times. By the time they finally got through, they tried to charge them a uh, hundred bucks to replace the battery and stuff like that. And right now I'm on uh, eBay. And to replace the battery, let me cut my brightness down some. So on eBay is thirty bucks. You know, it looks like the same battery. I don't know if it's the exact same battery, but you know. And then somebody else said they got them at. Uh, What's Radio Shack for 25 bucks, and it's the same kind of battery that's inside a power wheel or whatever. So um, we're gonna see what's up. You know, uh, I'm gonna take this to Radio Shack. Hopefully they got something that's this size and the same voltage and wattage and all that kind of stuff. And you know, go ahead and replace this bad boy and, and you know get my get this bad boy back up and running because you know I I really do need this. It comes in handy and I really need it as far as business. You know, I shoot videos, so this is this is needed. This is like a must-have for you know my music videos. I gotta have this. Like, this is not even like something that oh I want this. No, I need this. This is like part of my business. So like you know, I needs that. <laughs> I needs that. So uh, yeah, man, it's been your boy M Lee, the hobby collector. Hopefully, this helps somebody out and stuff on how to you know replace the battery and how to get to it. You know, really. If I wanted to, I can I can rig it up and you know, but I don't want to do all that. So remember, all you need to do is unscrew these four screws right here, and they're different lengths. So make sure you separate them, you know, in all four, so you can know how to put them back in. And then all the screws from around the uh, panel. Take something sharp to pry it open. Lift it up with your hand. Make sure you don't put that much much force against the wires, and make sure you don't touch nothing. So you because you may shock yourself even with the battery unplugged you still can shock yourself um, make sure you don't you know make sure if you're gonna touch well make sure you don't touch these electronics because you can mess up the electronics by your own static from yourself so that's why I always keep a static wrist wrap in, in my house whenever I'm working on something and then you know just push the battery out from the inside 
because it's kind of snug. So, um, yeah, it's been your boy, Emily, the Hobby Collector. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I helped somebody out. And thank you for everybody out there that put out videos like this as well, helping other people out. I'm out. Peace.